it may have been influenced by the lack of any ability to shoot gators in yesterday's stream, but we're back here again on Mississippi Acres Preserve in an attempt to maybe make that right a little bit, hopefully get some gators today, and in general just try to do a little bit better. That was a rough hunt with a lot of not dead gators by the end, and winners, thank you for renewing the membership every day a new month passes. It feels like it, man. It feels like it's just flying by. But I appreciate you, dude. Appreciate the long-standing support there. That is a good question, by the way, Kyla. Are you in Discord winners? I was looking for you earlier. I didn't know if you were there. What's up, JW? This is my first stream of Welcome In, man. This is a earlier stream than intended. The weather today here in PA for hunting was not exactly ideal. Uh, rain isn't ideal for a camera, and 20 mile an hour winds not exactly ideal for neither hunting in a blind, which, you know, may try to pull out the stakes, or hunting in a elevated tower. You know, any way to keep the camera dry really wasn't a valid option today, so spent a little time here, hunted some gators, you know, tried to understand a little bit better where to shoot them and all that kind of stuff, and in general where to find them and the best times for that. So yeah, can, what the heck? Hello. Oh, I don't have a shotgun today. Alright, rabbit, I'm so sorry for what's about to happen. <laughs> oh no. Can't believe there's anything left. December 7th. Oh, I gotta hold on. I gotta log in on the browser. <laughs> Poor bunny. Let me go and uh, pin that real quick. I didn't do well with Discord. I understand that, to be honest. Let me find Kyla's thing here. A little more prepared than yesterday. I didn't accidentally broadcast my own voice twice. December 7th. Pin. Cool. Diamond Gator? I'd love to get a Diamond Gator today. Uh, like I said, I was shooting some earlier, both in an attempt, really, to... Like I said, kind of understand where they are, where to shoot them, all that stuff. Try to get that down. And also try to get some respawns. I've seen, you know, across the content creators... What was that? Oh. Anyway, yeah, across the content creators, a lot of Diamond and Rare Gators have been shot. And I've seen none of such things, and I would like to see more of such things so yeah maybe maybe some respawns will happen and i'm not sure we may end up doing some exploring maybe some outpost unlocking at some point during the stream but at least the main goal at the moment is to chase these guys and i hear rascal growling Got a little low on muzzle it arounds i see but before that guy gets into the water and i tried to lead him a little bit because the muzzle is a pretty slow firing round want to get that shot off and he of course is a five so quite honestly if he doesn't pop up back out of the water uh i don't mind i just want him to be dead and allow us to respawn where was oh is it gator legs uh i had a max weight one earlier that i did not find so we'll probably go and look for that soon piebald gators look cool so the biggest takeaway i have from the piebald gators that i've seen across the community is that there seems to be three, or minimum three, variations, which would be kind of breaking new ground as far as uh, Call of the Wild is concerned, another gator over there. The most variations of pie vaults we've seen ever would be two. So to have three, all for the same species, maybe that's going to be something to look forward to in the future with others. And somebody had mentioned true pie vaults at some point. I would love that. I don't know how realistic that is, but it may happen. All waiting on the map to drop. Kyle is over here salivating the gators. <laughs> no. Not quite like the... I don't think I'm going to like them. No? I think I'm going to get frustrated. Let me back that up. I like them. I like how they look. But I'm glad they're difficult. That's good. Whatever. But I know my temperament. I'm going to get upset. <laughs> yeah. I, you know, I tend to be pretty, you know whatever about anything that's happening I, I don't tend to get too frustrated but yesterday's stream got a little frustrating i just simply could not make a good shot on a gator and i'm hoping that may be our first good shot on a gator i've got to say i've been messing around with the 300 a little bit from kyla's suggestion she does a lot of her red gear grinding for a great one with the 300 pretty much with the idea being it's gonna kill them even if you make a bad shot and you can get the respawn from that and the gators are tough. I mean, 
I would say there are plenty of class 7 animals. Black Bear are a fantastic example where you hit them with a 300 and they go down quite quickly, even drop, where the same shot placement on a gator doesn't even come close to, to drop them, let alone even, you know, maybe even killing them. And I still don't see any death there from that gator. The first one died, which is good. Um, we'll see if this one maybe ends up coming up. He was a max weight estimate. I'd love to get to claim him and see what that was, but we'll move along a little bit. I want to give him time to maybe pop up. Something that happened earlier, too. I had one that I hit poorly. I guess that eventually did bleed out. I think it might have been, like, intestines. And, oh, there we go. Just like that, basically. It popped up way later, so... It, Maybe they take longer to drown than I thought, or maybe they actually are coming back to the surface nervous, and then they just, you know, they die then. What are the new weapons coming to the new map? The 22 Hornet is the new one. There are three variations. Yeah. Man, I've got no ammo of any kind whatsoever. Uh, but the 22 Hornet is an interesting one. By the way, this this is a glitch. That is hilarious. <laughs> the legs caught on that tree. This is a glitch with the gators when they come floating over. When they get to a certain range, they float correctly. Uh, but, yeah, I don't really know what the deal with that is. Anyway, two um, ammo types for the 22 Hornet, and each cover class is one and two, which make it a unique weapon in that um, it does cover those two different animal classes. It just seems a little bit underpowered for what it should be able to do. I saw that, by the way, in Discord, Danny. 184 Bighorn is fourth on the leaderboard. So the new season... Oh, it would have just started with the update. That makes sense. That's awesome, man. Headshots are how to drop the gators. Yeah. Tends to be the best way to insta-drop them. That or neck. Now, Lung tends to get the job done, especially with the muzzleloader. They usually can't seem to outrun it. The muzzleloader may be the most powerful weapon that allows you to hunt class 6 animals with it. There, there may be others. I'm trying to think of like what might do a better job. The 300 obviously is class 7 and up. 338 is 7 and up. It seems to be it's kind of like the muzzleloader being the the best option there. Um, That one may have floated back too. If it did, I'm not that worried. I don't see it. Okay, let's go and see if we can find the Max weight estimate gator that I lost earlier. You're the only mod here. Doing great. Do you think Pittsburgh is picking a QB in round one? Ask me again at the end of the season. It, it depends on where their draft position ends up. And honestly, I would have told you, no, regardless, two weeks ago, I'd have said... No, they're going to probably see if they can, you know, land a, a veteran quarterback. Not your Russell Wilsons and Aaron Rodgers and whoever they're, you know, all these top-tier quarterbacks that are potentially going to be free agents because Pittsburgh doesn't really do that. But, I don't know, like a Case Keenum or somewhere that kind of talent level and just say, hey, we got a great defense. Go, you know, don't, don't throw the game away, manage the game, whatever. Their defense looked terrible two weeks in a row, so I don't even know if they'll do that. In real life, you only need a 22 LR to hunt gators. Yeah, but um, you're pretty much just going for a brain shot, right? And the thing about it is, if you made gators class one, or you know, that's the only feasible way to make the 22 ethical for them. That's probably my one right there, unfortunately. Just a seven. Anyway, like it, it just the whole balance of the game would be thrown off if you just had, you know, class one gators run around. Gator over there. Now they're supposed to be, I thought, resting right now. Is that a different Max 7? They are everywhere. Well, I don't really know how I'm going to try to get any of these, but I may attempt to let them get onto land. I don't really know what the best method of hunting the gators is right now, as they, uh, you know, kind of are floating around, swimming around, not really stopping and allowing for a shot opportunity. Bunch of bucks are just walking across over there. I can't see anything. Don't know if there's any good ones in there or not, but let's see if the gators will go to the uh. land. Now, I think it's 9 to 12 and then 12 to 1600 for their rest time, so they should be resting. Is that pronounced basil? Basil? Possibly? Thank you for the super chat, man. 
hanging in there. Yeah. <laughs> Can they change the gators to class 7? Have they ever changed an animal's class before? There's a gator getting on the lane. That might be kind of what we want to see happen here. Slowly but surely, they'll probably work on doing all that. Anyway, yeah, they may change the gator class. There was something. Oh, you know what it was? When Verhunga came out, there was a pretty good consensus. And I, I will say I wasn't really a part of this consensus, but basically animals would spook from farther away. And the idea was like, hey, this map's wide open. So you can't run 200 meters from animals. You gotta be, you know, you gotta, you gotta slow down a lot earlier than you could on other maps. And they did actually, they changed that. So I would say when, when it comes to a difficulty thing, that is a thing that EW has done in the past is actually adjust it when the community asks for it. So we'll kind of see. Um, I don't know that it's so much the class that needs change as it is I don't know maybe the the drowning mechanic or something like it's a little bit tough to actually end up getting your gators and I, I don't see this going well but wanted to attempt a brain shot no such luck when they're when they're so well hidden in the water ah man missed out there what was that please don't be my seven of course it was my seven. <laughs> oh, this is what happens to me every time I hunt gators um yeah, like that, that one's kind of gone now until we either come back later or I don't know exactly how that works. I have noticed it's especially over here and maybe it's only over here. When they go nervous, they eventually do pop up back in the water, I don't know, five minutes later. And that's actually not that big a deal. So there was two sevens. Okay, good to know. I've got the 300 with me. Should we need to use that? Maybe that'll be the move. Did you shoot any deer in real life yet? I've been kind of trying to avoid spoilers with that. Did he warning call and then go underwater? It seems he did. That's annoying. Anyway, yeah, um, my buck tag is still in my pocket. That much I will say, but no, uh, no spoilers beyond that for the moment. Unfortunately, the more, you know, we're getting closer and closer to the end of the season. At some point, maybe I'll, uh, you know, go ahead and reveal such totals reading is for nerds favorite animal hunt on Yukon definitely the gray wolves I quite enjoy like the aspect of them going aggressive one of my favorite things is and especially when it's not say the M1 maybe when it's not the 303 so like a 6.5 for instance if I'm hunting with that and a pack of wolves attacks me one of my favorite things is to fend them off and, you know, take out the entire pack. Like, it always feels like an accomplishment to do it with the weaker weapon. A really good example, and I, I know that I just shot the Alpha and they all ran away, but it was with the 454 when all the wolves were circling me. The Iberian wolves, when we shot our last diamond one on Quadra, that was one of my favorite encounters with them. And you don't get that with most species. You know, most species, species don't threaten your, <laughs> your hunt like that. How do I play on early access? Uh, so, the way that EW treats the early access period is essentially like a content creator event, almost. So, it's with the official community co content creators, and if you do make um, content on The Hunter Call of the Wild, in their Discord, I didn't know I got that guy had swam that far, in their Discord, I believe, if you don't apply to be an official creator there, the, not the rules, the like instructions on how to apply are there? You're a mod there, do you know? What? How to become an official creator, how that works. Okay, while you're doing that, I'll finish explaining. Anyway, if you're not making content, <laughs> um, I don't know that they'll end up doing trailblazer betas again. That was a thing they used to do. But uh, as of now, the early access is like a creator thing, pretty much to hype up the map, as far as I'm aware. Watch and drive home so I don't fall asleep and die. All right, I'm gonna randomly yell things every three minutes to keep you awake. Jacob, thank you for the super chat, by the way. Do you know all the rares and skin types for gators? I think the only ones that we've seen thus far would be all- Gotcha. Okay, so yeah, if you are making content and you're interested in becoming an official creator for um, Expansive Worlds, 
I could tag a community manager? Where, where would you... Oh. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. I don't want to reload. Did the internet die for a second? Something just reset on my... Yeah, it says I just restarted the stream. You might need to let them know to refresh. Hold on, let me move this so I can actually see. Yeah, we're dropping frames. I think the internet's trying to die. It might be a thing that's happening. It's not like completely dying. Because I'm still seeing stuff. I also lost that gator in the uh, strugs that just occurred. They're still occurring. I don't like this. Anyone else lose audio? I think we're losing more than audio at the moment. I don't know if it's still... Uh, yeah, it looks like it died now completely. Oh, nope. I should have just gone with the normal time. Went early and the internet's like, no. How dare you? Stream strugs indeed. Not being kind to us whatsoever. I think as long as it doesn't completely disconnect, it might be okay. Okay. Thought you were a gator, my guy. If it completely disconnects, it gets weird, and then the... What's it called? The delay is just awful. There was at least a six over there. I think possibly for the moment we're okay. Mine's lagging a whole lot. Yeah, it should have chilled out a little bit now. Really thought it was my internet. Nah, uh, it's been rainy here today, and sometimes that does um, seem to impact the internet a little bit. In the meantime, that gator got away, and it, I don't know what actually was displayed on screen and what wasn't. It was a little unfortunate. He just kind of managed to stay out of sight just long enough. And actually, I don't have the, the muzzle loader loaded, which... Why that's the case, I honestly don't know. The internet was basically six feet under already. It it definitely tried to be. What I miss? How's it going? I didn't miss too much yet. I actually meant to buy more muzzler ammo when we went to that last spot, but we got ourselves a couple of gators trying to get a little better at hunting them. And quite honestly, I don't know how successful I can say we've been to this point. We may come back to this lake again and we'll just go up through here because I've had better success on this side refreshed and fixed yeah um well clearly anybody that's still having problems isn't gonna hear me say this but refreshing should fix are you Canadian I am not tried tree stands or tripods nah. for getting a more elevated view of the gators I've not really messed with that too much yet I know some people had success with it I don't know, the loadout that I'm carrying doesn't really allow me to do that, I guess, where that's my that's where my biggest issue kinda comes in with doing it, but I can give it a shot. Um Basil, thank you for the super chat once again, by the way. Let me uh get where I'm trying to go here. Maybe. These guys. Anyway, uh love the content always gets me excited to hop on. Well good man. I'm glad. Thank you for the compliment there. No albino gator, gators confirmed. I I would have to think there are albinos. That seems like a thing that should exist. All right. Just about every time I come here, there's been a mythical. We'll see if that has been... And for once, I'm actually killing the gators here, so... See if that's going to continue to be the case. There's a thick turkey over there. Do I really want to go all the way down there again? It's really not fun. We'll wait for the moment. See if we get any gators over on that side. Why does Lucky not count? That was true. Billy doesn't either. He, does. he just showed up. I wanted to mess with him. What's up, Billy? All the streams this week, all the stream strugs as well. We already tried to lose the stream entirely once. We made it all of. No, I made it like 15 minutes. I really didn't shut up for like 15 minutes straight. One might say this map has got my attention. I really just let a gator get away because I have my headset half on. I didn't even hear it until <laughs> the last second. Why does this happen? I swear if this is a max weight one. Okay, it's fine. Tis an olive. Not worried. The amount of times that they just run past me and laugh at me. Attentive, huh? 
Where's the gator at? Alert. Where's the gator though? So it's, I would think it's on that side because the hens are not caring and the gobbler does. The fog doesn't exactly help our case here, but I think I'd be able to see it. Not on the shore or anything. Hiding pretty well. I don't know. First year driving in with my family this year. We're seeing had three moose from within 30 yards. That would have been kind of terrifying. If they, if they got much closer, I'd have been scared anyway. There's a gator. There's a mythical gator, in fact, like I said, every time. Okay, so here's the thing. That's in such a place that it's going to be a bit of a pain to go over there and get it. Uh, where? What are the odds that I can find that turkey again? There's the hen. Another hen. It would be cool to get that other gobbler. Like, I really do want a diamond eastern uh, wild turkey. We don't have one yet. And it would be nice to scratch that off the list. Of course, those level twos do give you a chance. I don't know. Maybe when we go around, we'll see them. There are quail down in this area as well. I think it's actually over on the side we're going to have to go through. Now, unfortunately, not carrying a shotgun because I have the 300 for extra gator killing power. Another one. A couple of females. Went from not having a non-tip at all to getting two in three days. I think acid's using hex. Finally a map I can't ace in two days. Hmm. One day, I'll get it figured out. What's up, Joe? Just joined. How's the accuracy today? The accuracy's been a little bit better. Um, my hunting abilities have been a little less good. I had a max weight 7 gator very close, like within 100 meters, but it was right when the stream was trying to die, so I was looking over at that, trying to pay attention to the <laughs> drop frames and see if it was still alive, and of course I spooked the gator, because why would I not spook such gators? Should we shoot this? Maybe practice? I think that's a good idea. We'll see if it ends up dying or not. Um, Fazzo, I still don't know if I'm getting your name right, by the way. Um, feel free to correct me, chat, if I've not seen it or if I'm not saying it right. But thank you for becoming a channel member. Kyla has the Discord linked already, so if you're not in there, be sure to join that. Link up your YouTube, get the member roll, get all that good stuff that comes along with that, and enjoy the green name and emojis in chat. Speaking of which, check out the emojis. Classic just crashed before the trophy shot on my non-tip blacktail. Get smoked, dude. Uh, it should be in your pictures somewhere. Well, we got it, but uh, we're over here now, so maybe we'll go back and claim that. You know what I didn't do? I didn't mark the location of that mythical. I thought it was over in there. This this is how you spook gators and lose them and get annoyed. What's up, Mel? You like that 12? Yeah? Good. Halfway home, I haven't died yet. Are you actually driving, or are you... No, surely you are, because you talked about not sleeping. Quit your... T chatting and driving. I'll report you to the... The law. The law. You got it. Oh, he's got my back. Oi, oi, oi. You the other female? Okay. You're fine. Not wasting ammo and having a 12 year long reload time again. You're saying my name right? Okay, good. I will do my best to remember that. Just now realized he got the muzzleloader. I do tend to think the muzzleloader is probably the best choice. We we used that a little bit. Um, was it the first stream that we did or was it in the video? I can't even remember where I was using it at. But it seems to do a pretty decent job, so I, I think I'm going to stick with it. The reload time is rather unfortunate and as much as I do like the 22 Hornet I will say some kind of gator slaying gun would have been a decent idea I've been considering the 10 gauge slugs as well but I think back to well I have an instant drop to bison but then again that was a hard shot I just don't know that they've got more power than the the 50 uh, the uh, 
the muzzleloader, so... Do I really want to... Try that? You gotta get close, there's no scope, obviously. Is there an expected release date? Check the pinned message at the top of the chat. I'm gonna start saying that just so maybe um, pinned messages are... I want them to be something that people check because they know it could have important info, because some people might just close it because it's in the way. When are you next streaming on Twitch? I'm actually not sure. Most likely... I can probably do the Sunday stream still on Classic because I don't know if I'll do Classic. I might do Call of the Wild still. But, uh... Well... I don't know. That's kind of in that time frame where I'm still supposed to be doing YouTube streams. We'll see. We'll see what uh, Sunday brings. Did it, did it happen? Did I spook him? I couldn't see him. Probably was it. A male fox, you say? Oh, I see it. No. A five. Well, let's use that 22 Hornet. By the way, I shot a two tones. Uh, gray fox, and they look fantastic. You want to turn this way? Little, little, uh, level five guy. Not a clue if we got him good. Hoping for the best. We sure did. Who would close it and not read it? Probably, uh, lucky mail. Apparently, gators go aggressive at night. Yeah, um, another thing that I've had happen, just in, you know, trying to learn and understand the map better, was I got pretty close to a gator when it was just kind of walking towards me, I just let it do its thing. I don't know why I didn't think the screenshot it, that was most certainly a mistake, but it, like I shot it, it went aggressive for like half a second, and then back to fleeing. I don't know why it ended up fleeing from me, but... Yeah, it, I saw the aggressive word come up. It was in daylight, but it didn't stay aggressive. What color is this fella? Two tones, yeah, I, I really like these. The lighter gray, the, the very pronounced red in like the chest and neck patch. I think they look really nice. 4.8, small guy. By the way, the ears aren't all weird on these ones instead of the like black inner ears of the gray fur type. They're not, they're not a new species, but the new black bears look amazing. They almost feel like a new species. They're that different looking and that good looking, in my opinion. It's kind of a thick black gold. I've not seen what the black golds look like. I think we're about to. What about a Honeytones Fox? We have the Honeytones Chamois. It seems like it could be possible. Not going to chat and drive like some. Got to drive home from work. Sounds good, dude. Drive safe. Uh. Flare might be a different YouTuber. It's close enough. What's up, Ethan? Thank you for the super chat. Any big books IRL by you and any IRL hunting vids? Okay, so to the first question, we definitely have a couple of pretty good ones around. Well, at least on uh, my dad's property where we primarily hunt. There's a couple of pretty uh. nice books here at, uh, here at the house, but not quite as significant, at least in terms of what we've had on camera oh. so far. Ow. As far as IRL hunting videos go, what fur type is that? I don't know if I've seen that one before. Anyway, there will be IRL hunting videos eventually. I'm not exactly sure when they're going to release. I will definitely update you guys when I have a little more information on that. But the plan is, as of now, that we're going to try to do kind of like a more highly produced style of IRL hunting videos this year. So, that was a dark brown. Okay. Um, for instance, for like a 20 minute video, you might see 7 minutes of my hunt, 7 minutes of Kava's hunt, 7 minutes of my brother, 7 minutes of TK, you know, whatever combination of things happen there, and it, it, I'm sure it won't be even 7 minutes, you know, splits either, but that's what we'd like to do. I think it's going to make it more interesting overall. I don't know, in my opinion, doing it that way will ultimately be better than, you know, for seven weeks in a row, you see all my hunts. And, you know, maybe three of those hunts I kill a deer, 
Two of those hunts, I never even see a buck. Maybe two hunts, I get good footage of bucks, but don't kill one. You know, whatever happens there. Uh, and then, say, it goes to TK's videos, and then my brother's videos. And then by the time my videos come back around, it's like February 15th, and I'm rifle hunting, and everyone's like, rifle season's still going in PA, so... I'm trying to kind of avoid that a little bit, and I think it's going to make a better product overall, but just going to take some time to get there. Curious, but oh, number one. Where did we shoot that female gator from? One lane over there, I guess we'll go and claim. Curious if that mythical is going to re emerge. He may. Will you be streaming tomorrow? Um, that's the plan. Probably going to be. Closer to 7 o'clock again, Eastern Time, by the time that stream actually goes up. The weather is supposed to be a little better tomorrow for uh, hunting. And then the intention is Saturday to uh, get out a good bit. So hopefully, you know, get home, get that stream done, and then be up early Saturday morning. We need a Flinter and Steve Rinello collab. If I could ever make that happen, I would be the happiest lad. I think that would be pretty neat. Do you know when this map will come out? December 7th is the release date. It'd be cool if they added Sandhill Crane or a similar bird species as like a big bird species. I do think that'd be pretty neat. I mean, obviously the geese are rather large bird species, but I get what you're, uh, what you're going for there. I'd like that. See that knife. You said to get rid of the holy. <sighs> What's up, Tom? I'm doing good, man. How about you? Turkey's on that side. Interesting. I've not spent too much time up here, like in the plains area. This gator is absolutely trolling me. I don't even think I shot it from over there. Like, I don't know why it's floating this way. Whatever it wants to do is fine by me. Imagine not liking this stream. What a life. Have you considered a collab with Kendall Gray? I, I guess I've answered this uh, quite a few times, but I'll answer it yet again for anybody that's not heard me say. I just don't think our content styles would mesh like at all. We have very different kind of approaches to the game, and as I said in the last stream, he's one of the creators that, you know, has like another channel and does like a bunch of stuff with a much larger following than anybody who is, you know, Call of the Wild specific in terms of the content they create. So, you know, he does a lot of good things for the Call of the Wild community just simply in the exposure. But, uh, yeah, for a collab, I just couldn't see our styles meshing whatsoever. It would probably just be awkward. Now that we have quail, they should add pointers. I would like to see pointers or another dog species, you know, retrievers. Um, what was the other one that we were just recently talking about? Now pointers or retrievers? Maybe I'll remember it. 12 is definitely better. Why no ducks on this map? Uh, that is a good question. I'm, I'm not actually sure. Hopefully it's a long shot. Like I was saying earlier, that is the major... Oh yeah, we got him good. Major disadvantage of the muzzleloader. It just takes forever. Oi! What the heck? What are you guys doing? Couple of hens. Can I get them? Hit that one. Fall in the water. I'm not going over there. Fall in the water. Get it? I think it just got to land. Well, I'm not going to claim that one. Oh, stream died again. It's so temporary. It's different than it usually is. But it restarts, so there's going to be like four streams on this channel. Oh my god, the chat. What just happened? Lag. All the lag. Wait. Are you a hen too? Well, that one we can go and get. Stream Strugs, Stream Strugs, indeed. Did you guys even see the the first turkeys? I was so proud of myself for hitting that one. Don't know if it actually was on the stream. At least, it's going to bother me that there's like 12 different 
iterations of this stream. Be tempted to edit them all together or something afterwards. Maybe that's gonna have to be what I'll do. We need a Flinter Call the Wild Hunter skin. I don't feel like I should be like the only one to do that, but if they ever did do like a creator thing like that, uh. I would be honored to have any impact on the game in that way. There's our gator. Landon, thank you for the super chat, by the way. Who is your brother? If you check out the Meat Hunters YouTube channel, um, he has a bunch of videos over there. I believe he introduces himself and stuff, uh, so you can go and give that a look if you're interested. Yes, we saw the turkey. Okay, good. I feel like the stream literally only died for like a second, but it was enough for Streamlabs to restart the entire stream, which it's fine, I guess. Um, oh, I know why it does that. I turned off the thing because it just causes intense lag, and that was mostly for Twitch. Figures it's uh, first impacting on YouTube. I don't think it ever should cause the big annoying delay, though. Which I guess that's good. We need crows? Um. So they. With Timbergold Trails in Nodger Classic, they added crows as a non huntable species that kind of will flock around elk carcasses. It'd be cool if they did something like that in Call of the Wild, but made them huntable. Custom characters? I don't think we need a 12 year old character in the game. He called me 12. I love what you do. I wish I could do this in stream. It's a lot of fun, man. Um, I definitely, you know, when I got started, I was 17 and just kind of was making content for fun. I think that's a really important thing. Um, and it tends to play itself out when the, I won't call it the incorrect approach, but when the opposite approach, what I'm about to explain is taken. Like, I really think if you are just simply in streaming and content creation for the money, eventually that's going to show through and, you know, the, the audience isn't going to stick around. Uh, so, like, if it is something you want to do, you've got to be making content that you enjoy and you have to, you know, you have to do it because you want to do it. It has to be maybe a hobby where you have <laughs> another job or another source of income until maybe it reaches a point where it is, like, a livable... Um, livable job or career because I, boy until for like four years it wasn't even remotely livable like I I was fortunate enough to be still living with my parents for a couple of years until that kind of got out of the ground and you know that's kind of the way that goes but sometimes it's got to be longer because if you're already living on your own or whatever it takes longer to get to you know that point because you've got all kinds of other things to do. You maybe can't dedicate as much time to videos or streams because you gotta you know, do your other job or whatever. Everybody's situation is different, I guess, is what I'm getting at. Uh, Ethan, thank you for the super chat, by the way, once again. With the gators, if they die from the water, will they come back up? If so, how long does it take for them to come back up? Also, brain or lungs for gators. Um, was that a question or were you saying that's where to shoot? Well, if it's a question, I prefer lungs. Brain shots have treated me well, but only when they're like on the shore and not moving. And to be honest, I usually go for lungs then because I'm using the muscle loader and it tends to kill them. As far as when they're diving underwater, if you have shot them and they bleed out while underwater, they'll essentially drown and not float to the surface. That's the uh, that's the way the mechanics been explained to me. Now, if you shoot them and they dive underwater and they, they bleed out on their way to despawning essentially, they'll float back to the surface and float over like any other animal that you shoot in the water. The other mechanic that I've seen come into play is if you shoot them poorly, they'll dive down, resurface as a nervous animal, and I don't know how long that takes, and then they can die and float over. And of course you can hit them so poorly they're just simply not going to die. Again, they'll, they'll surface, but I don't know how long that takes. What's up, Tipsy? How's the Mississippi life been treating you? It's been, it's been fun, man. The gators have still been getting the best of me, as this guy is probably going to do, especially since I don't have a loaded muzzle loader. How is this happening? Like, I don't have manual reload on, so I don't understand 
why I'm not reloading. Out here struggling. I am proud of you, Zach, and thank you for the super chat. Is your did your uh, voice even deepen with that? Do you have the deepest voice in in the world now? Even though the Falcons suck, at least you have the Braves. Yes. The Falcons are probably better than the Steelers right now. I wouldn't bet on the Steelers to beat them. Random question, boys. Do you prefer track colors for Rancho? Uh, same as what I have here, like the the bright blue for active and white for inactive. I see you over there, you reptilian freak. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you'd enjoy that. That was just for you, that was all. Wow. Wow. And no one else. Nope, I just knew you'd enjoy it. Oh. Is the ghillie suit worth it? It doesn't do anything. Like, okay, so assuming that we are talking about Call of the Wild here, not classic. Um, what the heck? They're, they're piling out of here and I'm not even seeing them. Goodness gracious. Usually this doesn't happen. Usually when the wind is good, I don't have this problem. Anyway, the ghillie suit you get as a reward for signing up for Apex Connect. If you have an account, you have access to the ghillie suits. Oddly enough, you can only use the ghillie suits if you're like currently like logged into Apex Connect or whatever. Because sometimes when randomly, like I can't connect to it, I don't have my ghillie suit either. It's a little bit annoying. I wish once you unlocked it, you could use it whenever. Anyway, it, it doesn't do anything camo-wise. No camo that you wear in Call of the Wild impacts how well animals spot you. It is simply an aesthetic. All right, this one's not getting away. Get dead, dude. Take you forever, but start to drop, please. Just the fact that he's taking the longest path ever to get to the water, he's probably gonna float over, but probably like a single, okay. Flying gators. Anyway, I think a single lung. I don't think he's going to drop quickly. You're a reptilian freak, no you. See, sometimes I swear like they, I was talking earlier about they'll submerge and then resurface. Sometimes they do it quickly and sometimes they don't. And a lot of times it is along this river where I actually see them you know, come back up a minute later, but we've seen three dive down. We've not spotted all of them. Oh, yeah, that's what I've been seeing. But it's forever away. Like, the odds that I would ever get that are not good. So, there's kind of two ways that I've approached it. Sometimes, for some reason, when they're out there, like, their models don't connect with the surface of the water properly or something happens, and they're basically above the water. You can, you can shoot them really easily that way. When they're just doing this, this, wherever it was, when they're kind of swimming normal, I'll usually just try to hit them with the 300 and hope that, the, like, a skull hit is enough. Because I'm probably not going to make a brain shot, so... I think he was just maybe about to do the thing I was talking about, but you see how deep that water is out there. It's kind of neat. Other one must have spooked. All right, well, at least we hit one there. As a bonus? What's that, Frantic? How rude you started it. I'm just saying. Uh. Um, Zach, thank you for the super chat as well. My voice will become so deep that the frequency will challenge thunderstorms. Uh, I won't read the other part. That's that's for Lucky to read. Did you see the meme about the guy who died after a bout with the Steelers? Yeah, they do that every year. I don't know about every year, but I have seen a lot of those things in the past. Always entertaining. Cool. I actually got a semi-thick gator. I was double lung and it took that long to die. We almost heart shot it. The heart's kind of like right in the elbow, but if you don't get the heart, then you shot the elbow and you're not reaching to the, the backside lung. It's a little frustrating to do that. So muzzle loader up close, broadside lungs on land for rares and diamonds then yeah if we do find at any point here and who knows uh the way that my gator hunting luck has gone but if we do find any rares or diamonds number one i guess i should say rares are level nines but anyway uh number one if they are out in the water i'm just not taking the shot i'll wait until they either decide to come to land to rest or you know whatever i've got to do reset the time 
to their rest zones. Something to the point where, like, they've got to be on land. There's, there's just, there's too much risk <laughs> in taking a water shot. And maybe, you know, it might be a fun video idea to try to kill one that way. But as a first, at least, I definitely want to do it, you know, on land. Keep it high percentage. And that, that's the way I would do it. As far as brain shots, I think they're consistent enough to go for it on land. It depends on the angle, but long shots seem to do the job, especially with the muzzler there. I do expect to see the skater come shooting to the surface any second now. Um, I don't think it will have drowned, however. It's dead, I don't see it. He was dying quick, too. Alright, well. That one got away. I'd also, like, if there is a, um, a chance at all <laughs> to, to shoot, like, a level 9 or a rare that is maybe a little further away from the, the water's edge, that's always good. I know they do rest like that with their mouth open, but it looks so goofy. I also can't spot the thing, because gator spotting is a strug in this <laughs> game. 1k watching. Appreciate everybody coming out to the stream today and checking it out. Hi. All right, I guess we'll worry about the closer one first. Uh, Snakehead and King Godzilla, thank you for the super chats, guys. How well does the muzzle to work on gators? I have found that it is the most effective ethical weapon. Now, if you want to use, like, the 300, it does pretty good. Like, if you don't care about the, um, the score, obviously, like, say, a lower level one or, you know, one that you're maybe... It doesn't matter if you get a silver or not. I guess I'm just going to shoot this even though I can't spot it. Can we brain shot it or something? Maybe. That was going to spook, huh? I know the heart is right up under the chin like that. Oh, it's a four. Huge. Do we get anything? There had to be a vital in it. The muzzle has got in insane penetration. I don't know. Anyway, yeah. I, I do think it's the most effective. I The reload time does definitely hurt how good it is. No organs hit. Well, here I am talking out the muzzle loader. That didn't exactly pan out, but... Oh, did that? No, I can't. still there. Just a 6, too. Anyway, yeah. Um, 300 can definitely be a better option, but that's a thing. Like, what you just saw there, I was having a hard time spotting it. And you don't want to use the 300 on one that you can't spot. Like, it, it can be a little annoying. Where were you at? I don't even know what to do here. Okay. Plan's gonna be... Try my best to kill that one. And that is going to, I believe, spook that one. Which I at least <laughs> want to try to hit. Yeah, we got that one. Now, again, it's with the 300, but I know it's a 6. So, if I can just get it killed and get the respawn... I will take that any day of the week. These guys are not easy to hunt and bring down consistently. Um, I still need to get back to Snakehead. Are you going to shoot a 12-foot alligator? Look if I can kill an alligator of any kind. It says, like, their score is their length. I wonder if it's, like, centimeters or inches or, like, what they're kind of going for. That'd be fun to know if we got one this 12-foot. And uh, Minty, thanks for becoming a channel member. I know I'm a little bit behind on such alerts. But if you're not already in the Discord, this is what I was talking about earlier. They get above the water. And they're, I mean, these are free shots. I can, I can hit that. As bad as I am with the gators, I can hit that. Um, things are all over the place. But, uh, yeah. If you join the Discord Minty link up on YouTube, you'll get the member role over there. And access to a couple of things. And, of course, the emojis and green name here in chat. So enjoy that as well. It's quite the process to become a member since my YouTube premium is built through Apple. But there you go. Thanks for little days of entertainment. My pleasure, man. And thank you for the support. I definitely appreciate it. I, I've had some uh, interesting encounters with trying to make um, YouTube premium and such payments with the different methods. So I, I can definitely appreciate that. Hopefully that shot's going to be effective enough with the 300. I think we're going to start using it a little bit more as we go along. No ducks here yet. I like that yet. I'm I'm optimistic we may see them eventually. I mean, look out here. This could be a duck duck heaven. Can you bow hunt the gators? Um, I killed one on stream yesterday with a bow. Did I kill it? I definitely shot it. You shot it twice. I think you killed it. I'm pretty sure. 
I think so. Yeah. Oh, dropping frames again. Don't do it. Don't do it, internet. I believe in you. Oh, <laughs> scaring alligators again, too. I believe in myself to not too, do too much of that, but a certain amount is guaranteed. I see it. No. They're really hard to hit with the muzzle litter. Because it's slow. God, I was at three. I've seen him before. <laughs> Finally got him. Okay, he's gotten away like three times. I'm just pleased he's going to die. Another three? Excuse me. I've got the biggest males in Call of the Wild out here. There's another gator over there. I don't really like that they seem to rest in groups, although that is, I believe, realistic. Um, just the way that the gator mechanic works, they are bound to mostly get away most times, which I guess is just going to be a thing to get used to. Small gator here. I want to know what the other one that got away was. Another guy out there. There are plenty. Just can't find a big one yet. Or a rare one, for that matter. Are spotted red deer great ones rare? Uh, quite. A four. We've got big male central around here. Didn't want to drag, drag them out a mile back. I wouldn't want to drag a moose either. What's pointless on merch? A duck emoji. A duck emoji? Yeah. 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 I mean, that doesn't really fit the whole, the whole vibe, and I don't. Theme's not the right word, but you know what we're essentially going for with that. Wait, which one? I don't even know which one we shot. Neither one of them we shot well. Hi. I have disdain for level 3 alligators after the one got away from me the amount of times that it has. Gonna try to hunt a mountain goat with a bow. I think that'll be a fun experience. Big small males. They all look the same. I've seen a lot of discussion um, about kind of the potential to see model sizes that reflect the weight. Okay, bye. Oh, we dropped that one. Is it gonna come flying back up? I'm ready. Do it. Am I just loot like that one shouldn't escape? It died immediately. Hmm. Interesting. Anyway. Yeah, like a level three gator should be notably smaller than a level nine gator. And right now they aren't. Maybe the gators are like the the species that makes them start to look into doing that. Can't even spot this guy. Alright. You're getting a 300 round to the back, and I'll never know what you were. What's the little square next to your dog's status for? I have no idea. Um, that was something that came along, it seems, with this update. I don't know if it, you know, it has any, any impact on maybe something in the future that might be added. I really have no idea why it's there. Um... Maybe it's for a new dog species down the road. Maybe it's for a new, like, dog ability with what we have. I'm guessing that it has to do with the dogs. Surely it's not a new UI thing, or that would have been a little more clear. But yeah, as of now, it doesn't seem to do anything. Maybe it's just a random place loader for something else. Hard to say. I simply don't know what happened to that gator, and I think, unfortunately, it's got another reason to not shoot a level 9 gator. Uh, <laughs> out in the water because even if you make a perfect shot apparently they disappear it might be because of the depth out there would be interesting to know like if you left render and came back would they be visible uh snakehead thank you again by the way just did some research 12 foot equals 365.76 centimeters at least according to google but that's if they're using centimeters i wonder what the record length gator is because diamond is 492 for them which would imply nearly 500 centimeters which would be, I mean, you're getting easily 15, 30 centimeters a foot. I mean, that's almost 20 foot. It'd be a thick alligator. Couldn't fit Eastern Cottontail Rabbit, so I just ate Cottontail Rabbits? Wait, for what? what? I don't 
don't know what Billy's talking about. Is this another small gator? Oh, okay. I got you now. Why is it lagging so bad? At the moment, the stream seems to be okay, but I'm not sure. Start killing some stuff? Uh, well, I'm killing plenty of stuff. I just haven't, uh, haven't been fortunate enough to claim a couple of gators we actually made good shots on. And they simply disappeared, so don't know what the deal with that is, but we're going to go over to... We're going to probably reset the time here shortly uh, and go back to where we have a couple of max weight estimate level 7 gators. See if we can maybe get a, get a revenge on them. Hmm. A lot of times there's some right in this little corner, and sometimes you have to kind of run all the way over to spook them out. I don't hear any, and I don't... Oh, yeah, never mind. I don't have any breath. Okay. We hit it anyway. Important part is getting the respawns, unless it says level 9. Edited the species command. I appreciate it. Uh. We actually got a good, once again, that one popped back up. It's really hard to know the difference. I wonder if it simply is the depth of the water. So, like, I always figured maybe it's a time thing. Why am I not claiming them? Um, a lot of, so the mechanic with the gators is, if you hit them good, and they go and bleed out after a certain point, or like, over a certain depth of water or something, they basically drown and despawn. That is why I wasn't claiming a bunch of them. Now that one, obviously, we got good. Didn't even hit that. Oh, okay, bye. <laughs> Don't know why I tried another shot. Um, Adam, thank you for the super chat, as well as Wario Man. Catch on live stream at lunch, what did I miss? Uh, quite a number of gators, and I think that's primarily been it. I don't know that we've shot much of anything else. Let's, um... Oh boy. Okay, we're gonna run this coast all the way up to this outpost. I've not actually been... Mm, that's a gate. I haven't been north of here much, so maybe we'll encounter some, some new stuff. But I want to at least do a little exploring over the course of this stream, so we're going to go up to the other area like a different way once we come up here. Biggest alligator was 19.2 foot. Killed in 1890. Okay. Might be what they're going with. We need an airboat? I certainly wouldn't argue with that, especially with the gator thing. But anyway, what I was getting at, I might... Hello there. Might have a theory as to why certain gators seemingly die quickly but can't be recovered. I wonder if, if they die over a certain depth of water, if that's where their drowning and despawn point is. Because sometimes I shoot them and it seems like they run forever. And, you know, they, they get into the water, they do their swimming animation, and they still pop up. Maybe it's because they have a really long swim to go until they're over deep enough water to despawn. I'd love to know how the mechanic works. I I really feel good about that theory, though. Might be one worth testing and seeing, because weren't you seeing as well on some of the streams, like the ones that were shot out there were despawning, essentially, immediately? Yeah. That might be it. We'll see. Do the raccoons actually hide in garbage cans like we saw in the trailer? I don't know if they hide in them. I had that one, I know my video was 30 minutes and that was a long thing to potentially watch, so if you didn't watch it all, um, I absolutely understand that. Uh, during the course of that video, I did have like four raccoons come running over from a trash can or a recycling bin, whatever. Uh, so maybe they do. There was in the included materials for this early access, Something about don't be surprised to see raccoons hanging around man-made stuff. So, maybe they do. Found a level 9 line, what should I kill it with? The question is, do you just simply want an ethical weapon? Because the 338 or 300 would be a good choice. If you're asking for a challenge weapon... What are we spooking? It's gotta be a gator. Oh, yeah. Anyway. Challenge weapon, maybe like crossbow might be kind of cool. 
Okay, I am certainly expecting that to be a kill shot. There is another one over there somewhere. There he is. Yeah, he's trying to flee. I just want to know what you are before I blast you with a 300. Thick seven. Another kill shot. Cool. Alright, I think we'll be able to claim both of those. We're getting a little somewhere. We're doing a lot better than yesterday. Maybe the 300 uh, impact there. Whose idea was that? You don't know, dude? Gators that despawn become level one ma level one male mule deers on my SRP map. That's the only explanation for why I have so many all of a sudden. Level one male mule deer are fantastic. They make me laugh. I think that one got out to deep enough water. I really do. Seems to have disappeared. It's quite alright. I mean, the respawn should be a thing. Kill a diamond lion with a 22? Not sure if that's the ideal move there. How can we have Mississippi without waterfowl? Hey, I don't disagree. Oh, there it is. It took a long time. But yeah, I don't necessarily disagree with that. It, it probably should be a thing, and maybe it will be eventually. Hi. Don't go swimming. I really don't... You shouldn't be swimming. It's rest time. He's going swimming. What's up, Blake? Hopefully they'll finish the duck rework soon and add duck to this map. Wood ducks would be really cool. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. Wood ducks on this map could most certainly fit. I would be a fan of that. I should have just blasted another 7 with the 300 when it was on land. Would have been a much... Much higher... Success odds, I guess. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Popped up for a second. Yeah, I must have missed it. I think he's going back to land. Very, very slowly. This map could have Puma, too. I uh, I was talking to someone that kind of knows this area fairly well. Apparently, Black Bear weren't the best choice, and... You know. They didn't have to add Black Bears to this map to get the really cool variations that I like, so... That part doesn't matter to me much, but I, I do enjoy them being on this map. That's definitely another nice big game addition, I would say. Should be another good solid hit. Stay on land, stay on land. I would appreciate that. I'm not seeing him dropping, though. Just in case. Just in case. I'll hit him again with the 300 if he isn't dying. Now he is. Very slowly, but he's dying. That was a 421. Decent. I would assume we're going to see this guy pop back up, so there's not much point in going anywhere. Are piebald mule deer rare? I got two yesterday. Piebald mule deer are almost like an uncommon. Um, they do pop up fairly often. Just wait, for your message. wait for your message. Oh. We need to stop answering the same questions. We could be a really good team if we answer different questions. <laughs> Take on the entire chat. <laughs> they should have added Cottonmouth? We like Red Dead hunting snakes. I was gonna say 12 months is a lot. For what, Danny's? His has to be... It's over 12, right? Will they fix the bug on Silver Ridge for spawning on Xbox? I'm not aware of a spawning bug. What you mean? Not quite sure what you're referring to there. Diversity is key in this game's reserves? Definitely. Definitely is. Welcome back, GW. I think I'm going to be randomly sick on the 7th. Hey, boss. I'm not going to be able to make it in in uh, four days. I'm going to be sick. Feel it coming. <laughs> Have you gotten a diamond alligator yet? I have not seen so much as a level 9. Tons of 7s and 8s. This, oh, <laughs> getting better and better. Is this going to be the same same song and dance again? Go swimming and then come over to land? Maybe. Getting bigger, 426. Alright, well, if that's what he intends to do, we're just going to slowly make our way over there a little bit closer and then hopefully get him with the muzzle litter. Up to two years now on YouTube. I thought the two-year badge was like the diamond gun. Maybe it's uh, a little delayed. Do they have legendary rabbits? They do not. Very easy. 
is the highest difficulty you'll see on a bunny. Would a 270 work for a gator? It would be ethical. I would be... It, unless you brain shot or hard shot them, most are going to get away. Um, again, if you're not aware of how the gators work, essentially, anytime they spook, so whether they're shot or if they're just fleeing, they make a run for deep water. If they die while they're in deep water, they drown. They do not float to the surface, you can't claim them. So, just simply making a vital shot with the 270, I think it would take them so long to bleed out, they would make it to deep water pretty much every time. Perfect acid. Gonna hop off the stream, hopefully gonna catch it next time. Sounds good, man. We should be back uh, tomorrow around this time, maybe a little bit later. Alert, that ain't good. Can we use the 300? I feel like I trust the 300 more to try to make a floating brain shot. You wanna face me, dude? This is what I was doing all of yesterday's stream, and I could not kill any of them to save my life. Is he still determined to just stay out there? I guess so. That was weird. The other, the seven just went out there and then came straight back in. He's kind of angling. I don't know what I want to do. Oh. Okay. I heard him growling and he was turning with his uh, little footsteps. I thought a gator was coming after us. You think I should shoot him? He's going uh. alert. Not a brain shot. Yeah, water's not going to be a thing. I tried. Uh, Missy, thank you for the super check. Good to see you once again. You guys have no taste in music. The only good music is... Whatever that... I don't know the name of it. The Taylor Swift song that you listen to that's ten minutes. <laughs> the All Too Well song. Yeah, that one. <laughs> Song. Trying to get back on your good side after I got yelled at for stream comments <laughs> regarding college football teams. Huh? I surely do not. How do I get my rifle score up? Any animal that you shoot and claim with the rifle will increase your rifle score. If you're looking for a way to increase it quickly, Fallow Deer on Te Aura would be a fantastic idea. If you have the 22 long rifle, uh, geese. Geese would be fantastic. Um, i trying to think of what else would be. Whitetail on Rancho? Those kinds of things. Do you stream on Twitch? I do. Um, the normal schedule for Twitch streams is... Wednesday evening, Friday afternoon, and Sunday morning. Currently, due to hunting season and uh, kind of also due to the early access here on Mississippi Acres Preserve, we have been just doing YouTube streams. But uh, yeah, we'll be back to the the Twitch streams basically starting next week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just made a joke about uh, her football team's rival. Your girlfriend exists? Yes. There you go. I'm just a ghost. A ghost? Yeah. The bucket ghost? Yeah. Whoa, dude. <laughs> aren't, aren't you supposed to kill stuff in this game? No. We're here to take pictures, dude. I don't even know where that one came from. I was hoping that was going to be the mythical so I could hit it again and hopefully end up killing it. Why am I so bad at those shots? I guess probably because I'm not ranging them right due to the lack of ground. Who knows? Went from level 1 to 60 in 5 days on geese? I believe that. You can move pretty quickly. Can you explain the zero, zero distance perk and how to use it? 
Yeah, um, so one big thing I'll say. If you've already got the perk and you're curious, like, why it doesn't do anything, you have to, if you're on console, you, uh, would, like, double-click on it, basically. On PC, you right-click, and of course I've done it so it doesn't work, but you right-click and then click activate. Uh, you need to do that with any of what are called the active perks, the, the ones that are in green. Any one that you have, you can only have one active at any one time, but if you have one and, you know, it doesn't do anything, you need to actually activate it. Now, as far as how zeroing works, I struggle to really describe this properly, but the best explanation I can give is that naturally when, you know, in real life, when you're shooting a gun, there is a bullet drop due to, well, mostly gravity, but also loss of energy. But for the sake of, you know, argument, there's just bullet drop. That's just a thing. And the game also has bullet drop. Um, but the zeroing can allow you to kind of deal with that. So if you're zeroed for 150 meters, once you start to get out to like maybe 200, you start to get a little bullet drop. If you zero for 300 and you're taking a 300 meter shot, you don't have to account for that bullet drop. So basically you just want to zero for the closest thing to the range that you're shooting. And you know, it doesn't alleviate the need to potentially compensate if you're taking a 400 meter shot. No, no weapon can be zeroed beyond 300. You still have to aim high, but you don't have to aim as high as if you're zeroed for 150. And I believe the standard zero, zero range of any rifle is 150 without that perk. I know that's a lot of info to take in, but the basic thing is zero for the closest range to what you're shooting, and you'll be good. What's up, Tyler? Man, we're, we're on a streak here of the fire siren going off every time we stream. Why was I timed out for being a duck? I have no idea. How can you tell how many of one species you've killed? Unfortunately, there is no stat in Call of the Wild that shows that. There isn't classic. I wish they would add it in Call of the Wild. Maybe one day we'll see it. But, yeah, there is, there is no way to tell unless you just simply count. Which is kind of annoying. Zeroing sets the accuracy to a specific range. Yeah, I guess if, uh... I don't know, I've explained it that way and that for some reason that still left some people confused. So I don't know if, um... If there's something kind of missing in there, but yeah, I, I think that's the, the easiest way to kind of say it. There's some pretty small rabbits around here. What map is the goose hunting map? Hirschfelden. The heck? What? How's that a two? I'm surprised it's a level two. Because it should be the females that will potentially reach level 3? Maybe it's both. That's a pretty big male. That'll be interesting to pay attention to and find out. When will the Mississippi map come out so we can buy it? December 7th. And I'm not better than Kyla, whoever asked that. Not true. Lies. In your opinion, what's the rarest <laughs> typing stroke? The, the rarest fur type? Uh, I mean, Melanistic generally is the rarest. I would say there are some unique ones. So, like, Brown Bear can be a gold fur type, and that's, like, an uncommon. But for Gemsbug, gold is rare. So there's some that you don't see as often for, like, stuff like that that's specific to a particular species. But generally, Melanistic's the rarest. Melanistic Lynx, overall rarest fur type. Uh, yeah, it might be. The thing, the, the tough part about species like lynx is they aren't as hunted. So that generally makes the perception how rare they are, you know, kind of favor the, the even more rare side. But I definitely can't disagree. Awful. Having a blue name. Got to mod tacos and require such things. Okay, so there's the plan. I want to go back to Gator Lakes and look for those couple of um, bigger male gators. But I want to go through this area, which I ran right past this outpost in the last stream, which really annoyed me. I t totally forgot about it. But if we go up 
through here, we'll kind of be exploring new territory. We can unlock that outpost and hopefully go and find the gator. So we're going to make it like... I bet that'll be at least a 15 minute run, so we can go ahead and make it about 8. What's your favorite reserve to hunt on? It still continues to be Leighton Lakes. However, I definitely am really enjoying this map. The one, it may be the challenge of the gators, but the one thing about like a map like this has got all these gates and all these new things. I like Rancho and I like Mississippi Acres because at almost any given time, you've got something around you to maybe go after. Whether it's a rabbit, or a quail, or a turkey, or a raccoon, are obviously the big game species that you can go after. You know, your hogs, and bear, and, and deer, and gators. There's pretty much always something you can go for, and that just makes the maps more interesting, I think. Right now, I don't have a shotgun. I've got the 300 because I'm kind of half trying to grind gators, try to get a, a, get a big male to show up eventually. But if I had a shotgun, you know, I, I can kill those quail and rabbits pretty quickly and easily, and, and uh, I just think it makes a hunt more fun. When I was doing all the rabbit hunting over on Rancho, I really enjoyed that. And this kind of gives me that same, same kind of vibe, I guess. Officially met at an airport. Not even in an airport. COVID times. I thought you said something that you definitely shouldn't say on YouTube, but you said got in his truck. You would have been prepared. You probably brought a. Well, I guess you didn't bring a knife through security, I would I hope. I couldn't have a knife through security. <laughs> Never mind. Late Lakes blows with a great one grind. Drink stones for whitetails on Rancho is so much better. And yet, I can't get my great one on Rancho, but I got my first one on Leighton. Back when they were cool. Back when they were cool? Yeah, where not a lot of people had them, you know? Yeah, it was... That was pretty neat. This is pretty much exactly what Mississippi looks like. Yeah, I think they did pretty good. I do... I've got to say, like, I wish the corn was a little more realistic looking, but I absolutely understand. You know, if they put too much detail into the corn stalks, especially, you know, maybe some, I was going to say lower end PCs, but even my PC, which is, I wouldn't exactly call it lower end, it's been struggling a little bit to run Call of the Wild and stream it lately, like it runs the game fine. I guess, okay, we'll, we'll just talk about simply running the game. Definitely consoles would have a hard time with, you know, a bunch of animals and for some unnecessary reason, you know, some super detailed corn stalks. I get it. Interesting, you know, this is a level of detail that you have to appreciate. They've got these corn stalks in like different levels of growth, and that does tend to happen. Like, this could be maybe potentially like rockier ground or ground that retains moisture better, and that does happen quite often. Different heights in the corn stalk. You know, I didn't even realize that. I, I really do appreciate that, that little thought that went into it. That is insane, Mel. I had one a long time ago on Jackson Beard's map, and that was one of my, like, I guess prouder moments. I wasn't prepared to get attacked here. Are they all females? Oh. Oh. Can't shoot. This is why I need a shotgun. There we go. I don't really want to... Hello. I don't want to have to run over and claim them, so I'm not shooting the farther ones. I guess that was it. Oh, no. There's a male. That is unreal. <laughs> we hit it <laughs> with a gun that, you know, looks and sounds like this, and yet it's still flying. Uh, at least we got it. I'm here for calm content? Comedy content? I hope not. I have no ability to be funny. Ask Kyla. <laughs> it depends. Uh huh, tell me more. At least you can make my mom and sister laugh. Okay. Your mom enjoys my humor. Your dad jokes, for sure. Your cheesy jokes. I think I'm funny anyway. You're funny sometimes. I could be that. 
<laughs> Sometimes. What's the best guns overall for every class? I'm generally gonna say... I still think the 22 LR might be the better option for class 1. The Hornet that we just used there, uh, as you saw, we hit a quail and it didn't insta-die. So I'm still gonna give the 22 long rifle from Weapon Pack 1 DLC the, the nod there. I guess I'll say 243 is the best for class 2. Once you get into, like, class 3, the Mosin's gonna be the best. Then we start to take a little jump. Basically, in my opinion, everything classes 4, 5, and 6. The M1 or 303 is your best bet. Uh, and then 7 and up, 300. Corn? Oh. Oh. That looks like an M to me. <laughs> so it was like yesterday. What did somebody say to you? It was... I think they just... They might have called you like a Chad as a joke or something. And I thought it said dad because it was the C and then the, the lowercase C and then the line from like the H. You thought I said. I, I was saying someone's name and you thought I was telling him. Thanks dad or something like that. Yeah. yeah because <laughs> like the lowercase C, it looked like a lowercase D. And I was like, call him dad. It's kind of weird. You have like the dry humor. I do enjoy dry humor. I don't think I always have dry humor, but some... I enjoy it a lot, so it's definitely a, a style that I might have more than I would notice. I didn't even see what Tacos just said. Don't want to know. How'd your hunting season go? Did you shoot anything? Uh, it's still ongoing. We've actually got a little more than a week of rifle, and then... Hello there. Um... After rifle, I gotta reload this thing. There will be. It's after Christmas, really. There's a, a late season, too. Uh, but I, I haven't been revealing how many deer, if any, have been shot yet. Pretty much just to kind of keep spoilers from uh, being out there. What do you think? They didn't change the sound for the 22 Hornet? I'm guessing either they forgot, or it's a placeholder sound until they can maybe get one that they like, or. It's probably something like that. I, I don't assume that's the long-term sound for the 22. Small bunny. I like my humor slightly moist. Gross. What did I almost just spot? I didn't see anything in there. Definitely had a thing. Dry humor <laughs> implies the existence of damp humor. Damp. No. What are your thoughts on the bows in the game? I like them. I think generally they're pretty effective weapons. The fact that bow hunting does reduce the amount of pressure you cause by 50% makes them a little more usable, I guess. A little more viable. But, uh... I don't know, Bowhunting can call the wild in general. I don't think it's as rewarding as it is in Classic, because... Like, in Classic, if you spook any animal, it can be a pretty big deal. And in Call of the Wild, the only animal that's a real big issue if you spook is gators, because of, like, the nervous state and the way it all works. Getting a shot off in Call of the Wild on something that's spooked can be as quick as, like, a 30-second process. Wait till they run, you know, 200 meters, then stop and... You shoot near them with 22, you get them to turn, and then make your shot, or, or like, whatever you gotta do. Whereas in Classic, if you spook one animal, not only can it be difficult to get a shot at them, they will also spook basically anything they run past, and that can cause a chain reaction of just, you know, a bunch of spooked animals that aren't gonna come into the calls, you're not gonna... You're gonna have a harder time seeing them because they're gonna spook easier. Like, it's it's important to not spook stuff in Classic, whereas it's not as big a deal in Call of Duty. Obviously, we run around everywhere. Just got, it's it's a different style. There's the raccoon in there. Small little fella. I don't know how far that is. What? That was a fox, wasn't it? Sure was. Dark looking fox. The it's probably from using the 22. Uh, sorry, it's probably from using the 243. 
but our shots on Red Fox or Gray Fox have been nothing short of fantastic thus far. I'm gonna mess this one up. I shouldn't have said anything. I didn't know there's gonna be another one. Now nah, we're good. I trust that one. You try to mod? Just try? You do good. I appreciate such modding. Gotta go. Good luck. Thank you, winners. I appreciate you. Another fox. Alright, we found a foxy area. I like it. Where's our level 9? I want a diamond gray fox. I would be about as happy with that as I'd be with a diamond gator, which of course I've been spending a bunch of time trying to find. Where did the female fox die at? By the way, the raccoon survived, which is insane. I guess Rascal knows. What PC do you use? The PC specs are in the description, actually. Is this the female fox? That's the raccoon. I don't want that. Don't want you tracking that. We shot it on the run, like... Oh, I see it. All right, that'll work. Can you compare the 223 versus the 22H? I can. Um, maybe I'll have an opportunity to make a video on that. Gotta say, the 223 is gonna be a lot more powerful. Scarecrow thinks the gators sink in the water if the, if the water they're in is too deep. Uh, I just had my own theory that was that exact same thing about 15 minutes ago, so I guess we concur on that. That that definitely seems to be the case, but I'm glad to know I'm not the only one that thought that. That that seems to be what's going on. How do you get the M1 and 300? The M1 is a part of the Smoke and Barrels weapon pack DLC. That is a um, a weapon pack with also the 10 gauge shotgun and the muzzleloader. Both good guns. And the 300 is actually a part of the Yukon Valley map DLC. Uh, but quite honestly, so the it's the same price as any of the maps. 7.99 uh, US. That's a thick rabbit. What are the odds that we can find it? Anyway. In my opinion, it is worth that price just for the 300. It's it's a very... It's probably the best big game weapon in the game. There's a blue. I saw it. Now the question is, are we going the right way? Of course we didn't get an arrow. Next track? Give me an arrow, I want to know. Okay, good. So it should be ahead of us. I'm just going to... Hold the 22 with my five rounds, and if we get to it, we'll hopefully kill it. Hopefully it's a three. I really don't want another antelope jackrabbit issue like we had on Rancho. That took forever. Like, Rancho came out, was it late June on PC? And I didn't kill a diamond jackrabbit until sometime in August. By the way, speaking of, that just reminded me, um, I totally failed to do the best of November montage due to this new map coming out. I am going to get that hopefully probably Monday because of the um, I can't hunt Sunday so I could probably get it done Sunday during the day. Anything good this stream? Nothing too special thus far. We are tracking a max weight rabbit. We've shot a ton of gators. A bunch of pretty good sized gators. Uh, we still have about 30 minutes to go here. Um, I know the stream timer probably says we started an hour ago. Had some disconnect strokes throughout, but yeah, I'm hoping this might be a good sized rabbit. I've reached 26 million cash. How many harvests do you have uh, to get to that number? Okay, very fresh. We're getting somewhere. Next track. I see one over there. Hmm, so we could have spooked it. That's definitely an option. You could have turned. It definitely did. Glad I stopped, because that's one of those things where if we ran much further, we would have been to the point where the track was no longer visible, and I may well have just ended up giving up, because I often do that on rabbit tracks. They are just so difficult to follow over a long distance. A lot of times it's not worth the time. Like, a lot of times you just aren't going to find it. Kind of as it is happening now. Hate to say... Could he turned again, or she, actually? Hmm. 
Hmm. It's always unfortunate when you don't get the zone. I've had a couple of max weight rabbits. I think I only killed one. Are there roe deer great ones? Uh, no. Red deer and white tail are the only two species with great ones at the moment. No tracks, no tracks, no tracks. <laughs> Alright, well, I say we just kind of continue in this direction for a little ways. Sometimes it's just a, an area that tracks don't seem to show. Yeah, there we go. That'll work. What are you talking about, Montana, over there for? Someone asked what was on your Christmas list, and I said, usually whatever you want, you buy, and then um, Heather said to give you tags from Montana. I was like, I've been mentioning Montana the last six months, so... Just talking to Small, I'd like to go. There's the zone, that's the important part here. Just killed an albino Rio Grand Turkey. Those are some of my favorite rares, actually. I think they look cool. Oi, 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 oi. A two? After all this work? You're a two? That's a tree. I really don't want this to get away. <laughs> but it's These are the most zigzagging rabbits I've ever seen. Now it's dead. Good times. How much longer is the stream going to be? About 30 minutes. Did you answer that? 28. Hmm. You sure did. You answered specifically. Whoa. 1.7. We're kind of close. We actually, um, so we got what I would call low trophy rating for this one. 1 1.9 is the diamond requirement, and since it's basically 1.8 kg, we kind of got 0.1 lower, whereas if we got 0.1 higher, we'd have had that 1.9 and a diamond. So, no such luck, I would have hoped anyway. What is your favorite gun in real life? I don't really have a fit. I guess, okay. Favorite caliber? I don't have. Favorite gun? I guess my 7mm 08. I really should say <laughs> my 3030, though. That's my dad's 3030, but I used it for the last 10 years since he's used a 7mm Magnum. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I really like my, uh, my new one. It's just that I haven't gotten to shoot a deer with it yet. No one has, in fact. Um, Mullen, am I saying that correctly? I hope so. Thank you for the super chat. What would you like to see for the next great one? I'd really like to see, I think, mule deer or an elk species. Uh, moose was very highly, not requested, voted for in the poll that EW put out. And I think that was probably a surprise even to them. So I would hope to see that they would kind of listen to the community in that sense and make that the next one. So maybe it'll happen. We had the issue where your animal tracks disappear altogether. If you have, do you know how to fix it? You're saying you have no tracks anywhere? I guess I'd have a couple of a couple of questions, follow-up questions to that. Number one, you say your animal tracks disappeared. Do you definitely still have animals on your map? There have been rarely glitches in the past. Kyle has had it before. And I definitely have been on a couple of multiplayer servers that had it. The map just doesn't spawn animals. They're not there. And it seems like an update is the only thing that fixes it. So if you don't have any animals on your map, you may have to wait for an update. Uh, or if you're on PC, you could reset your pop files, and I really don't want to get into that whole uh, debate, but when it's to fix something, I think that's more than reasonable. Uh, next question I would have is, do you have your tracks turned on? Is there any chance that in your settings, you've accidentally turned off track effects? That'll make them disappear. If neither of those things are your issue, it may just be the area. There are certain areas of certain maps that just for some reason tracks don't show, and it's kind of frustrating, but just kind of is what it is. Boy, that <laughs> looks like it blew it backwards. Wait, that's a, hold on, was that just gray? It was a really dark looking bunny. Rather than check the track, how about we just take the, the fast track to that one? It is a gray. Okay. Looked almost mellow, and I got hyped for a second. That's the little blonde raccoon as well. And now we have a long field run across, so we're probably not going to see things unless we flush out a 
quail. I'm also going to throw those polymer tip rounds in just in case quail show up. What was awful? My hair snap when it was broken. I literally was like, Johnny, please come onto this map and just ride a like a four-wheeler through so I'm not losing my mind. Like I know hers can be there, but I was like, help me. I'll never forget the only time I've seen that. Like, I I think it someone that I knew had it too, but I joined just a random Verhunga server. And I was like, alright, I'm gonna go, you know, kill a diamond K Buffalo or something. It's probably the time when I was chasing K Buffalo. I seem to remember being at one of those northern lakes. Are these the gates that are broken? I think they are. That's probably why I didn't, if these are, that's why, definitely why I didn't get the outpost. Anyway, I ran around for like 20 minutes and didn't see anything. And the host goes, are you seeing any animals? And I was like, no. And he goes, okay, good, I think it's broken. And I was like, why didn't you tell me that? <laughs> I've been running around here for 20, oh. All right, I've been running around for like 20 minutes. I'd be happy to help, but he could have at least said, you know, you're on a map with no animals, dude. Can I shoot this? I'm okay. I have to find out. Can I shoot the gate out of place? Lame. All right, I need to buy 22 Hornet ammo before we head off, just in case anything needing such calibers would arise. I think soft point's best, by the way. Anybody that uh, is planning on using the 22 Hornet, I would probably go with soft point, and that would. For me, really be the first weapon that I think the soft point bullets are the better option. Other than, of course, lever action rifles. And for anybody that doesn't know, the lever action rifles actually... The soft point bullets have the better penetration and usually polymer tip have that. And that's usually why I choose that. Whoa, dude. Do you call Flinter Thomas the Choo Choo Train? Yeah, every time that she addresses me, we wake up in the morning and she's like, hey, Thomas the Choo Choo Train, what's going on? And I'm like, you can stop calling me that now. But she refuses that because that is my full name. Right? Yeah, for sure. For sure, did. Petition for a high fence map? They're all kind of high fence maps, in a way. Do you own every gun? I think so. Um, we got the Championship 338 off of Park A. Mm, I killed that diamond line when you were on the cruise. That was in September. So yeah, sometime in September, probably. Um, we got that, so I would say yes, I do. I guess I don't own the two other variants of the 22 Hornet yet, but I'll buy them eventually. How long did it take you to find a white tail gray one? It took me a month and a half. On Layton. Pretty much every single day. There were a couple of days where I didn't um, do much whitetail grinding. Definitely like the last week or so I was killing 100 bucks a day. There were... My original goal had been 100 bucks a day. But until I like found all the zones, you know, moved my setup, got my tripod, got my tent, and like really even, you know, sort of understood how to grind for animals in Call of the Wild, it had probably been like two weeks. So I didn't kill that many. Permission for a high fence gator. <laughs> Can you go kill some gators? We're on our way to gator land right now. There probably, there might be one right in that area. And then I want to go up to gator lakes. I've got a couple of big ones that I just have failed to kill like four times. So maybe the 12th time's a charm. No, why my game won't open on Epic Games and it comes up with an error message. I'm not familiar with Epic Games or how their launcher works. It should be an Apex launcher now. Um, I'm assuming there's like an Epic Games library or something similar to Steam. I don't know if you're familiar with Steam at all. Maybe you can look at your game and try to like validate files. Like, is there any chance that the download went wrong? You need a trank gun in the next launches of the zoo? Like, uh, Dangerous Hunt 2009 had a trank gun in some missions. I actually really enjoyed those. That was, that was fun. Yeah, I do not go by my actual first name. Like, ever. 
Only if I do something wrong and my mother yells at me. <laughs> <laughs> then I get called my real name. <laughs> the only great one I would kill would be a turkey. I got like a four foot beard just... All the time behind the turkey looking like it's tail. Do you hunt in real life? I do. Underrated weapon no one uses. That's why we have a gator here. Underrated weapon no one uses. I think the 243 is terribly underrated, but a lot of people use it. So, like, one of the most common things I'll see in YouTube comments of videos, like, let's say I kill, you know, I have an incredible hunt where I shoot, like, three diamonds in multiplayer. One of the most common, like, comments I'll see from newer players is, like, I want to do this, but I only have the starter weapon. Like, actually, it, Kyla has, like, 16 diamond red deer in her great one ground. I think they're all shot with the 243. Literally, yeah. Like, you can absolutely do really well with the 243. But, like I said, a lot of people use it because it is kind of, like, the, the best choice you've got when it comes to, you know, coyotes, red fox, those kind of things. Now, the 22 Hornet may change that. Um, but, yeah, I do think it's used a good bit. So, underrated that isn't used. The 4570 actually is quite good. There were a couple of times when I was doing the Red Fox grind that I was running with the 4570 so that I could deal with attacking wolves. I hear that gator. I see it. Come at me. <laughs> well, listen, I gotta give it that. Dude. That was a little less than uh, ideal, but made it work. Anyway, yeah. I was killing a lot of grizzly bear with that 4570. It's, it's a good gun. Look at the pinned comment. Enjoy it. Does it exist? What do you mean? Learn it. Learn it. Memorize it. The 7th. December 7th. Tuesday. Tuesday. I don't know what time. That's what people will be asking. What time, what time, what time, what time? I, there's always speculation about what time, and I really try to stay away from that. I think last time with Rancho, I kind of, you know, tried to guess what time it usually comes out, but you just don't know. Because sometimes with consoles, it's been later in the day, and I really hate to be like, hey, you know, it, it's, it usually drops at this time, Eastern or whatever. And then if I'm wrong, everybody's like, hey, Flintro said it's out, why is it not out? Flintro, 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 why'd you do this? I could be the tomorrow if all goes well guy, if anybody knows what I'm referring to. And poof, the gator disappeared. I didn't know they attacked. That actually wasn't him attacking. He was fleeing, but he, for some reason, whatever barrier was in his way, he chose to flee at us. Is that a deer? That is a deer. Huh. I'm kind of proud of myself for seeing that. If only I could do it in real life. <laughs> December 7th, 2022? Yeah, definitely. Creators have early access for a little over a year on this map before it comes out. Nah. Not 2022. Gonna get moved back a year. I think it's supposed to be like a simultaneous launch. I, I believe they said that on their stream, did they not? Yes. Someone's asking if you can play Call of the Wild. Please. <laughs> no. Um, I hate to say it, but today we're just playing the Hunter Call of the Wild. Um, I don't get that. Your voice sounds completely different from your recordings, does it? It may. Sometimes you're tired. The ambient sounds here almost sound like ducks. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes my uh, you know, during, during a stream or whatever, I'll be tired or my voice will be worn out. I've noticed after hunting, like it, especially when it's really cold, I feel like my voice sounds a little bit different. I don't really understand why that is. Give the gators guns. They ha oh, I'm going the wrong way. They have enough of an advantage. They don't need guns. You know what? 
as much as I wanted to run through area I really haven't explored, I sort of did go this way before. We only have about 15 minutes. I think we're going to fast travel and try to try to find those gators this way. What are your thoughts on the raccoons? I actually liked them a lot. Um, you know, we got our diamond early. It was in our, our first hunt there. Um, if you've not watched that video, I know it's 30 minutes long. I think it was about the halfway point, maybe like 20 minutes in when we found the, the diamond raccoon. I will say, as much as like, I, I was really pleased to get a diamond. Um, that took a little bit of the, like, I need to go hunt these aspect away from the raccoons. Because, like, yeah, I got a diamond. I don't care. Um, and they're small game. I, I don't tend to put a bunch of time into hunting small game. But I like them. I think the models are good. I think the fur types are good. I think they actually make for a pretty cool small game species on this map. And they, of course, have the multi-mount with the, with the gators. So, you know, I, I'm a fan, but... I, I haven't done a whole lot of chasing them because we just got a diamond and it's been fine. Gators appear in 3, 2, 12. Oh, sorry. Hey, good timing. At least on my end. Gator there, that's one of our sevens. So that's one of the ones I want to kill. Now, here's the thing. It, they're supposed to be resting. Like, it is their rest time. I don't know what the heck they think they're doing. But <laughs> it ain't resting. Hmm... So do we walk over to that other side, maybe? Like, I, I just don't know what the appropriate move here is. A couple of deers wandering around. That's the thing, by the way. Can you guys see how, like, they're... The fur almost shows through the vegetation. And I don't know why it does that. It surely it's not supposed to do that. But it's got to be something with the new textures they've added. And you can kind of just see deer through anything. Which, you know, as far as Great One grinds go, I'm sure the people that are still hard at work on their whitetail grinds are probably going to appreciate that, but... And eh, not the most realistic thing I've ever seen. What are your thoughts on the new map, and have you come across bugs? I'm trying to think. The only bug that I can really think of has been that sometimes when you shoot the gators and they float back to the surface, they're like the... I don't know... They're almost... It's like they don't, um... Ragdoll? Hi. Uh, that's the only thing I can think of. I genuinely don't remember any other bugs. There was a comment on my video. This said a couple of minutes in it already bug ridden. I was like, I don't remember seeing any bugs. How about them cowboys? Are they going to beat the Saints tonight? They probably are. Saints don't have anybody. I don't know if Camara's playing or not. Someone's built a case of monster energy in the water and gators are hyped. Oh, that's why they're not resting. They're just out of here chilling. Maybe that's it. Look at these. Weird looking glowy deers. There's a bunch more you can see through the brush. I don't know what they are. This seems like a situation where we're gonna have to shoot it on the move. Because I just can't see it. Oh, yep, it's fleeing. The oh yeah, I guess the fence is bugged, but that's... It's just a Don't make you laugh. Yeah, I was going to say, it's one of those bugs that's more entertaining than annoying. Get back up here. Thank you. I've trained my gators well. Oh, wait, wait, I hit that one early. <laughs> There's a skull shot in there. I didn't even notice. I had no idea. I didn't look at the... the um, the health at all. Did that send my floaty friends away? No, they're over there. Where that one is. Who knows? Okay, sometimes there's some over on this half of the lake as well. More deer walking around. A couple of absolutely pathetic males. Actually, there's a male and a female, but same difference. I see no gators on that side, which is fine if we can focus on one side that'll make our lives easier. Yeah, I don't really watch college football. If it's on, like, I'll pay attention to it, but I don't follow it. Uh, my explanation generally has been, like, I don't know, it's just kind of the best recruiters 
tend to win. It's kind of... I don't know, I, I enjoy it on the professional scale a little more. It's like holograph... Oh, oh, oh. Hi. Anyway, holographic deer, that's what I was going to say. How much has the new map affected the Great One Red Deer grind? I'd say it only has in the sense that... You know, I'm probably going to be spending a bunch more time on this for the immediate foreseeable future. But I'll definitely get back to the, the Red Deer Great One grind probably a little sooner than I would have um, after other maps. Kyler, thank you for the super chat and the sticker. Why does that puppy have a scar? What happened to him? You hit him? No! <laughs> Rude. <laughs> Is level 5 Gensbuck a diamond? Because I shot one and it was a silver. Uh, so level 5 female Gensbuck are guaranteed diamonds. Level 5 male Gensbuck <laughs> are just about guaranteed trolls. They can make diamond very rarely. If you got a silver though, that means it would have been a gold, it would have been a, uh, a troll anyway. But the silver means you didn't pass a harvest check. Either you used the wrong ammo, you didn't hit it in the vitals, uh, you shot it more than twice. Any of those things can cost you the harvest check. I'm glad I can see deer for days, but not the gator that's... Oh. Don't mind me. I'm here. You're doing great. Be here all week. Shut up. No. He dove down. Annoying. Telling me to shut no, he's talking to the gator. Wow. <laughs> wow. That was awful timing, I gotta say. No. Yeah. It could have been worse. There was at least a a second or two in between. Uh-huh. Is it the rain? Like there's not anything in front of them, but they still look weird. I was trying to look I thought that one was like piebald or something. All these kind of like low rack twos. Well, now I don't see. Yeah, that's the one. Is he going to come over here and say hi? I'd appreciate it if he comes and says hi. I didn't know you are outside. I can just feel the breeze, sucker. Yeah? <laughs> Open that window. Freeze me out. It's toasty. Oh, well, you're wearing a t-shirt and shorts, and I'm wearing pajama pants and a hoodie. <laughs> We're not the same. <laughs> Almost makes sense. Uh, Danny, thank you for the super chat. Get in the hot tub after a hard day at work and you're judging them. How <laughs> rude. Stop acting like you're 12. You know that I'm against hot tubbing. How dare you. Me and all other 12s. I guess these guys are just going to enjoy their day over there. Got like a weird looking rack. Ah, boy. I guess I'm going to try to get him with the 300 and probably not get him because that's how this usually goes. Yep. Uh. I just can't kill these ones. <laughs> They're never on the shore like they should be. And I don't quite understand why. Oi! Where were you hiding? I looked across those white tail like 12 different times trying to make sure there wasn't anything good. There's a small rack, I think, but... He must have been, like, back in the brush, or a gator could have spooked him, I guess. Uh, Davis, thank you for the super chats. By the way, I do, in fact, remember you from last night's stream. Oh, that one's nervous. They're alert there. Where's your slightly larger male friend? Love your vids. Please notice me. You have been noticed. Why did the fast travels on the Silver Ridge Peaks... Uh, why are they bugged? I'm not sure it happened with the Red Deer update. I'm sure they'll get that fixed with the uh, update here for the new map. Or at least I would assume. I need to mark where that was because I don't know. That one's coming back. That probably means the three will come back. I think I have my answer. He looks wide to me. Hopefully he'll make it. You want to slow down, dude? What I'm most curious about is which of the fur types is he? Nice. Nice. That's going to be screenshot worthy, I think. You did mean it. I don't know what you said, but I'm sure you meant it. No, I accidentally typed the six, not the seven. So I tried to oh, oh, no. And I was like, ah! 
You're gonna get blamed. Now everyone's calling me out for it. An official so Discord mod the said it. Thing and then I finally mess up. Beautiful. <laughs> oh yeah. Face full of tree. <laughs> Better than a face full of bush, I guess. Wow. You wouldn't be able to get a screenshot. What are you talking about? Uh -huh. <laughs> hey. Not as screenshot worthy as I thought it was going to be, to be honest. Would you consider hopping from need zone to need zone and shooting as many males as you can? A possible good tactic? I would definitely. By the way, Miss Diamond by about 0.9 there. That's a dark brown. I like it. I like the dark brown. Now it is a, like it was a, a fur type in the past, um, but I don't know. I just like that they're labeled different. Like I always like the darkest, I don't know. When I see a buck in real life, it's almost always like a darker brown than the does. So I like seeing that darker variant with the bucks and even when it used to say just common. Of course, when it says dark brown, you know it seems even better. Woo. Had to try hard. I said nothing, John. Simply talking about screenshots. Don't you worry. Alright, we got like a couple of minutes. I'm going to see if there's maybe a gator here or something that we can clutch. If not, we're going to bounce over to probably the starting outpost and attempt to get something that way. Is that thick galber? Yeah, I wonder if we can get him. God, it's going to be... I don't know... That's a hog. That's not even what I want. Uh, boy. 360 meters. So, so I don't know what the drop on the 22 Hornet looks like just yet. What did he... Oh, he's on the end. I don't think it's the same as the 22 Long Rifle. You only can zero to, uh, to 150. I'm going to just barely aim high and see what that does. Aim as if it's something... Okay, that hit 12 years short. We're going to sequentially go up because as long as we don't hit too close to him, he won't spook. I don't really like that spot animal thing in my way. I don't appreciate that. Alert, that's not good. There's a gator trying to mess with our turkey, Houston. Well, I tried. We'll have to take it to the range and test and see what that looks like because I don't know maybe it is I swear that I um I tried it with something and I thought that it didn't drop like the the long rifle you like call it be, being called flinter or flantro better that yeah, doesn't make too much difference to me how do you screenshot an animal when you claim it like how do you screenshot the harvest screen uh on console if you look up to take a screenshot on uh you know, PS4, PS5, whatever, Xbox. I would just look it up, like, on Google, because it's going to be a little bit difficult to explain. PC, at least if you have the game on Steam, it's just F12. Which is perfect, quite honestly. What's your opinion if they added fishing or fly fishing into the game? You know, I like the idea of them... Oh, that's the starting area over there, actually. just realized that. Anyway, I like the idea of adding fishing, but I think they're probably best off adding... Or, I don't know. They should probably just do a fishing game if they want to do fishing. I don't think they should do fishing in the Call of the Wild. It is the hunter, after all, not like the outdoorsman or whatever, you know, where it would be a little bit of both. So, yeah, my opinion is that as much as it would be cool, I think they'd be better off making a whole new fishing game because I don't know how much money they could charge for like a fishing pack or a fishing map or whatever they'd want to do, but to introduce all the new models, so you know, you, you have to have your fishing rod, you got to have the lures, different animations, obviously all the different fish models. There, there's a ton of stuff that would go into that, and I just think they probably would prefer to do a whole new game at that rate. Bow fishing would be great. Now that I'd be okay with. That I'd be all for. It would be interesting to see how they deal with. I wonder what. 
I can see something went through here. Anyway, it'd be interesting to see how they deal with the arrows flight or movement through the water because that <laughs> should matter and also how they deal with refraction because one of the biggest issues in bow fishing is the refraction the fish looks like it's uh, one place but actually you gotta aim a good bit lower i believe to actually you know if you actually want to hit it uh drew thank you for the super chat watching stream instead of doing english essay yeah we are almost done so uh you know, maybe English teacher won't be too mad. That was, um, as much as I didn't want to blast that quail on the ground. I wanted to know, yeah, you cannot shoot them on the ground. That was something that I hadn't confirmed, I only assumed. Now I know for certain there's a kind of decent two. Yeah, of course. Not reloaded enough. We got it. Just a female, but it's fine. I'm assuming it's the male, male quail that uh, make diamond, but I actually don't know. This map looks really cool. It is. I like all the different elements to this map. It really, like, they're cohesively a, a really fun map to hunt. There's the blood. Goodness. All that from a, what, quarter of a kilogram quail? It's a lot of blood. Anyway. I think that is officially going to do it for this slightly earlier version of our Mississippi stream. Maybe we'll try to kill one more quail as they are simply everywhere. Boy, if I had any breath to play with, that would be pretty cool. I don't think I hit that. That time I did. Alright, well we have plenty of time to uh, wrap up, but yeah. I think we'll get a little more back to normal tomorrow as far as probably like a 7 or 7.30 p.m. Eastern start time for the stream. Uh, like I said at the beginning, if you guys weren't around, the weather was pretty much terrible. F I hear it. There must be a gator here. Uh, long story short, we didn't hunt today because the weather sucked. And uh, we were able to start the stream just a little bit earlier. And uh, now we're shooting stuff. Shooting more stuff than we had for the last while. But eventually we'll claim stuff and get wrapped up. There's our little birdie. It was fun, it was. Got to shoot a troll whitetail. Got a bunch of gators. I think we should be able to recover this one yet. I don't know, I think, you know, we're getting somewhere as far as the gator hunting. If you watched yesterday's stream, you probably saw how uh, poor that gator hunting went. I would say even the fact that we were struggling up there at the gator lake today, we definitely got some progress in terms of, uh, being able to kill gators at a, a more efficient rate. I don't understand where it went. Figure it out, rascal. Hi. I found it. And a bigger one. I'll be back for you in a minute. <laughs> Gonna have a longer stream on launch day for the DLC? Uh, I actually don't know. Maybe? It's still going to be in rifle season when that happens. So I'll definitely try to have like a video ready uh, for launch day. I don't know if I'll get to do a quick guide because I'm not going to have as much opportunity to really, you know, play the map as I normally do just because of the fact that, and, it, and it's the reason that we're doing the streams is because of hunting season. But I'll try to have something out and we'll see. It, it depends, I guess, on how this weekend goes as far as trying to fill tags because that is still the priority at the moment. Good luck if we go tomorrow. Thank you, man. I'm sure we will need it. And good luck to anyone who is doing the same, trying to fill those tags. Claim our gator here. Even though I hear the quail <laughs> once again, they are determined to make me not leave. See, I've seen some pretty high, high scoring female quails. So I just don't know which ones we're even looking for yet. Anyway, a little gold alligator to wrap up with. And I think that officially is going to do it for the stream before we run into yet another animal. So, uh,. Yeah, as always, guys, thank you for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for all the support. As Kyla said, until tomorrow, bye.